Well, in, in, well, in terms of starting, I always start with a, a, a title. I write down titles uh, in terms of the work. And this piece is a part of a series I call Fragments of Frozen Sound, which was about um, Hurricane K Katrina. And I had friends and, and frat brothers that lived in New Orleans, and I would travel back and forth with them because they were moving to Atlanta. And um, for, for me, this particular piece, I talked with several families and, and talking to them, they talked about their, their experiences. And uh, there was a, a, a family that was talking about their experience in terms of the storm coming, the storm was there. And I first started to map the path of the storm. I, I use a technique, a process of mapping when I'm looking on the, on the map and looking at areas and cutting out shapes you know, dealing with, with different shapes. The flat pieces, if you look down on the map, uh, the hardest area that was hit in New Orleans, it was the Ninth Ward. And so that, that shape came from the Ninth Ward, both shapes did. I, I got a map of the city, an actual map. And the way they have it grid, gridded off, and sometimes when you look at the shapes, they are really intricate shapes. So I only took the portion that pertained to, to that certain area. And when you think about New Orleans, I would listen to the type of music. You know, New Orleans has its own culture. <laughs> like, you know, if you listen to the music, whether it's gospel, rap, or whatever, uh, I work to, to music all the time. And a lot of the, the people who were there talked about how their faith got them through. And one of the uh, a gentleman um, that I was I was uh, I was working with, he talked about having the wisdom to keep going when they were stuck on the roofs, tops of places. I've always been I was torn between sculpture and painting. My undergraduate scholarship at Universal Arts Center, Pine Bluff, it was it was in in, in sculptures, but I gravitated more toward painting, so I started doing painted sculptures and that was the, the, the concept in terms of, of the work. So in the use of the materials I started working on the top paper and I would just sew it and add a medium on it and I set it outside for maybe three years just to see about the wear and tear and it, it, it proved to be you know just as strong. The, the necktie is that shape, and that's the scarf shape. You know, because you know most women slant. I've used neckties in my work for a, a, for a, a while, a, a long time, uh, because when I graduated from high school, I didn't want to go register to vote. My grandfather took me to a tree where African Americans were lynched by their neckties on their way to vote. So the necktie shape have constantly appeared in my work, and um, the scarf shape, it, they were symbolic to the shape of women, uh, the, the struggle of women. I did a, a visiting artist at the Des Moines Arts Center in Des Moines, Iowa, and I was teaching a group of 11-year-olds and, and, and 12-year-olds, uh, and I asked them to name me one major African-American female who had made major contributions to America. Only one that they could name was Oprah Winfrey. So I had them to do research on Catherine Dunham, Billie Holiday, a number of African American women, um, and that series I included their, their research papers in these time capsules. So then I started to integrate the scarf shapes in, in, in the pieces. And even the direction and pointing, that's important to me. If you notice, if you look at it going to your right, a lot of the people there and talking to them, they talked about, you know what, they felt that they were neglected and it, it wasn't right. The way that they were treated and called different names, like, you know, if you're in a country, you, you know, you're a part of this country, but they would be referred to as, as refugees. Those knobs, I got, uh, I saw those in New Orleans. There was several, uh, uh, you know, furniture, furniture that was out, and, and I took the knobs. And I try to use numbers that are symbolic to the Bible, like three, and seven. So there, there are seven knobs. I, I, I always try to get pieces like it, it's a door. 
the doors like an opening and they close. So, so there's a lot of symbolism in the pieces as well. I, I like using bright colors because that's the, when you think about the sun and you think about what, you know, even though these people were going through all that, they had a positive attitude. And, 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 and that's why I say in, in all of my work, even though you talk about the idea of the neckties and lynching, African-American being lynched by their neckties on the way to vote, but we've come a long ways.